The world of sound effects and films seems overwhelming. We've all eagerly downloaded that Essentials SFX bundle only to be dismayed by a folder with literally thousands of sounds and 18 variants of a simple swoosh. But don't stress. Today we're going to talk about five sound effects you need to be using now and how they'll fit in your vlog, commercial, short film, or any other digital content. Just five. You can count them on one hand. Number one, the earthquake rumble. Despite its name, this sound can be used in a multitude of situations. It sits very low in the frequency spectrum and ends up being a sound that you feel more than you hear. You can use it to build tension in a heated conversation, add suspense to an incredible product reveal, or, well, as an actual earthquake. Play with different volumes depending on how you want it to sit in your scene. It can be a barely audible accent or a comical roaring stomach growl. The rumble works best in tandem with other effects, so be sure to use the layering technique to get the most from it. Number two, the swish. Not to be confused with the swoosh or the whoosh, just kidding. Of course you're gonna conflate them all because it's honestly very confusing and really not all that important. But here's a brief attempt at it. Think of whooshes as the biggest ones. Meteors flying through the air, a spaceship roaring over our protagonists' heads. A swoosh is a little more manageable in size a broadsword swung with a great force, or a basketball shot from half court, and a swish is the smallest, an arrow zipping through the air, or a flitting bug jumping from branch to branch. Or forget all of that and just make noises with your mouth until your sound designer knows what the heck you're talking about. That's what we end up doing half the time and it sort of works out. The point is, all of these effects are essential for conveying motion. That can be motion of objects on screen or of the camera itself. They are widely used in a lot of vlogs for whip pan transitions and graphic animations. They are incredibly useful in fight scenes to help enhance the movements of a combatant's limbs or weapons. Familiarize yourself with the different varieties and use trial and error to see what works best for you in each situation. Number three, the reverse symbol. We all know the symbol crash, infamously used as part of the score in Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey or in the sizzling opening of Hitchcock's The Man Who Knew Too Much. This is its bizarro brother, simply a reversed version of itself. We often hear them back to back in EDM songs to create a symmetrical sounding dropout that bridges into another section of the song. The reverse symbol is like an overdose of tension ramping goodness. You can use this for a small reveal within a scene, maybe that one of the characters is holding a gun, or when a murder suspect is suddenly identified but definitely use them sparingly because your content will rapidly approach parody if you use any of these effects every five seconds. Number four, the hit. The hit is truly one of the most versatile sounds we have in our arsenal. Beef up a punch, give some real weight to an on-screen title. Make sure your audience knows the importance of a location with a heavy hit on an establishing shot. You can play with this effect so much depending on how you EQ it, add reverb or leave it dry, or manipulate its volume. Sometimes its simplicity can even be deceiving and sound editors have a hard time making the sound seem like it's coming from the on-screen environment organically. So don't be afraid to spend some time tweaking the hits. Ask a friend to lend an ear or opinion. Hearing fatigue can really get the best of you when listening to some of these sounds endlessly for an hour or two. Number five, Desert Wind. This one sounds oddly specific too, but Desert Wind can be used in so many different situations. You may feel limited at first to only outdoor scenes at least, but you'd be surprised at how much you can use this one with subtlety. Just like the earthquake rumble, its true powers are unlocked when you use it as a layer among other sound effects. It can help convey the passage of time, suggest a changing atmosphere as if an emotional cold front just swept into your scene, or even to evoke loneliness or desolation. And there you have it, five sound effects that will really change your game as an editor. Once you have a handle on these, that huge library you have sitting on your computer will not seem so daunting. If you like this video, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You can find us all across social media platforms at Deity Microphones. And leave us a comment below. Let us know what you wanna see in our next video. The best comment is gonna win a VMic D3 Pro. I'm Steve from Deity Microphones, and thank you for watching.